So, I'm just listening to like this free lecture about cybersecurity and stuff. And one thing really like that the guy said really grinds my gears about say he gave an example about how when somebody posts something fucked up on a platform that it's not the platform owner's responsibility to monitor these things. I'm like, then whose is it? You know, because a platform is like a weapon. You can put lies on there and destroy people's lives and kill people. Now, if you're going to have a license for a platform, it's like having a gun shop. Let's say you have a gun shop. Now, if you're not going to monitor who you sell guns to and what they do with it, then what kind of fucked up thinking is that? You know, when somebody posts like child pornography and young men being raped on, on like, even non like non porn sites, and they don't want to hold accountability for it, these people make billions of dollars off of people's data and information, and they can't spend even a nickel to invest into a security system like cyber security police or platform police that you know like they're like oh it's not our responsibility really because i i i re-recorded something that i saw on face on youtube a couple of days ago and it was about a young man being raped in the bum and i re-recorded it and i put there like you know i made sure that the name, the title, whoever posted it was there on my recording. And I said, another fucked up video posted on YouTube. I open it up that night and I get a 24 hour, like what is that? A th uh, first warning. And they took down my video. Yet, the original video is still on Facebook. by the Posted by the original guy. And I reported it for every single offensive thing. Every single category that was on there like sexuality, uh, uh, abuse, neglect, child uh, abuse, um, inhumane acts or heinous crimes or whatever. I reported it because it, it fell under all those categories like 10 times. I did it twi twice doing those five drop down options. Yet that, that fucking, that fucking particular video is still up, up to now. But my, my, me re-recording it and showing it to the world got taken down and I got a warning, you know, and then that video of the dungeon that I posted before, I saw that on YouTube, on YouTube, and I knew right away these people were trying to speak in Spanish in because there was a chat window that popped up, not, I, I wasn't able to record, a chat window popped up when I was watching that, and people were trying to talk in, in Spanish. And I was reading their words and I go, these people are not really Spanish because they're using a translator and their grammar was wrong. And the, the way that they, okay, it was entitled like locos or something with a K, locos, something like that. It's bullshit. It's not Spanish because Spanish people spell loco with a C. And Filipinos spell loco with a K, but we don't, we never put an S in the end. So these people were using a translator and they were using their own victims phones and emails. The people that were in there, their phone, the people that were in there being hurt, those were their phones and their email addresses that these pieces of shit people were using to play games with them, like horrific games. They were telling them to masturbate. They were telling them to fuck each other, three people all at once, and, and all that shit. Otherwise, they turn up the heat. And these people were, like, dehydrated so badly. Like, you got to watch. It's in my one of my videos, like the real footage of the dungeon. I found that on YouTube. And then you know, YouTube's going to say they, they're not going to be held accountable for it. Are you serious? You know? No, you are. 
it's about time that people, even Facebook, even the owner of Facebook, where is he? Because Facebook is full of cloned profiles already. You can't get a hold of anyone anymore. Nobody's really able to talk to each other anymore. And there's like deep fake apps and photos all over Facebook. A friend of mine said to me before, he says, hey, um, you're looking good in your Facebook uh, po uh, posts. You look like you've had some work done. You look like you're, you know, how you look like when you were in your 20s. And it seems like you and your son are traveling the world and having a great time. And I'm like, are you insane? I go, I'm living in a homeless shelter. And I do not look anything like how I used to look like when I was in my 40s. And my son is not okay at all. And we are not luxuriously traveling the world. And they're like, well, that's the posts that we see. And, and they're you and, and him. And I go, you know what? I haven't had access to my original Facebook in forever. That, that Facebook, my original Facebook account that I've had since Facebook started in 2009, 2008, is hacked. I cannot get it in, get in it no matter what I do. And that's people using my original Facebook, who, where I used to have 5,000 friends, I think I used, kept on deleting for some reason. And then I think I have like maybe 4,000, 3,500 friends. And these are people I really know. And I don't know whatever else they're posting on those things. You know? And somebody has to be held accountable for that. On Facebook Marketplace, most of the things I see there are stolen things. Or things from people that have died or, or have been walled in or went missing. You can't fucking do that and not, you know, like one time I see um, this girl, okay, when before I moved to Calgary with my son, I had this, uh, uh, a queen, I was going to say queen size, it was, uh, but it was bed fit, right, and um, it was wood, and I know it was custom made, not for me, because the guy does woodwork, and he sold it to me for cheap, so I bought it, and I know it's one of a kind, it's one of a kind. You know, and I gave it away when when uh, my son and I moved to Calgary because it, it was too bulky to put in the truck. I gave it away for free. And then now, I, uh, about maybe a year ago, I seen the same bed frame, exactly the same bed frame, being sold on Facebook Marketplace. And I messaged him and I say, that's my bed frame. And she's like, oh, come on, like... You're not the only one who has, like, you know, this kind, had this kind of bed frame. I'm like, actually, I was, because it was custom made, you know? And then, yeah. So, either Mark Zuckerberg is, is already in captivity or he's flown off to some fucking island before all this, like, you know exploded and doesn't give a shit anymore because all I hear even in the fake news is that they're laying laying off hundreds of thousands hundreds of thousands hundreds of thousands of employees from Facebook and Facebook marketplace like a couple months ago or a month ago I see like in one of their ad, one of their um, uh, sponsored sponsored ads meaning these people paid Facebook and Facebook endorses it right get your driver's license ASAP Okay, I have about maybe $2,000 worth of traffic tickets for no insurance and no registration, leaving my paperwork at home and shit like that. There's no DUI or speeding at all or anything violent. And um, I messaged the person, you know, just curious, right? I go, well, um, how much? She goes, well, he, the person goes, well, what kind of license do you need? I go, well, a class three. And he go and the person goes, How soon do you need it? I go, ASAP. How much is it? He's like, Well, we'll see about it and we'll figure it out. I go, Do I need to take a, a driver's test or anything or or anything? I'm like, no, no. Because you just give us your name and give us your like um how you're gonna pay, or whatever, and then we'll print that one out for you. And I go, hmm. 
You know that there are those portable ID uh, printers now that are this big? And you can buy it anywhere off the internet. And they look legit. And they're maybe about $20, $30 for an ID printer. You can even have one right inside your vehicle. So wherever you're going, if you need to get access to somewhere, you just Google this and that ID, put your picture in there from your phone, you hook it to your phone, prints out brand new ID in solid plastic. Here you go, it's legit. It's even got a seal. And people don't know this. And then... What else is going to say? Like, yeah. So I go to this person. I go, is this even legit? Is this legal? Is this is this legal with the government of Canada? And no answer. I go, well, you know, whatever. If you can, you know, like, help me out so I can get my license right away. And then I don't need to pay for my tickets. Then, sure. And, and then the person goes, is there anything else that you would need? I go, yeah, I, I need a license, another license. For what? Um, pilot license. They're like, well, that's going to be a little bit more complicated, something complicated or more expensive, whatever it is. And I'm like, you are a bunch of assholes. I said that, right? You know, like, I can't believe that you are, like, endorsing your illegal shit on Facebook. So, I mean, this was around the time when, right before I, I got, um, uh, right before my original Facebook, Julia Martinez Candy got hacked. And um, all my modeling pictures are there. Well, most of them. I mean, even if they want to steal that, it's not theirs. Because those are all copyrighted and they're all over, like, you know what I mean? You don't just find them on Facebook. Anyway. <clears throat> um... So I told this guy, like, you guys are fucking assholes, you know, like, I can't believe that fucking Facebook is selling stolen things and, like, doing this shit, allowing this to happen, and I blocked them, right, and you know what, dude, there's another thing, right, this one thing, this, these are the things that I want, that when I, when the, the, that nice guy, his name was Sergeant Owen, I can't remember his last name, he gave me a call, and I said, just, I said, I really want to help you. I really want to help the LPS and like whoever you can reach out, reach this information to. Just give me like a day even or two weeks at the most if you want like, you know, like intensive like information about like just simple, like simple technology on the streets that are so harmful that I know even the police don't know about. And it's not because I use this technology. <sighs> Just because you know how to do something or how something's being done doesn't mean you you will choose to do it. Like I'm I'm studying anti-terrorism. Learning how terrorists think is breaking my heart. And their moves and the things they've done and the things that they're capable of doing, the things that they will do by following, you know, that sequence of like track record. And it's breaking my heart every day. But I have, I'm learning it, not because I can be one of them, but, but so that I can anticipate their next move and find a solution before they do that. It's like, you know, it's like a key 35 formation thing in the sky when North Korea, like, test fired some missiles. Anyway, um, there's another thing, right? I've seen this years ago. Um, watch your ATM machines, okay? Because in other places, I'm pretty sure it's here in now too. I mean, all government websites have been hacked so easily, you know? How do you think they've come up with all this, like, you know, high technology from everywhere? And you can't even point a finger at a certain particular nation because this is a combination of, like, military, like, weaponry secrets and whatnot, from all over the world and um, nobody even had to leak it because I really tell you I'm really telling you these aliens they really do go into our brains 
And they, everything they know is from the person that they invaded from inside out, slimily, without letting that, without even that, that person even knowing. So all the information and knowledge that these aliens have, they've taken from our brains. So, you know. Anyway, there's a on ATM machines. Right? I've seen this on the internet before. I don't know if I just keep getting these memos that I never really used to pay attention to, but. I'm like, huh, yes, that's there. Great, right? I'm just like, whatever, right? And it's it's like a maybe sh it's it's a it's a plate. Like not a round dish plate, but a square metal plate. And it looks like, you know, an ATM machine keypad. And you they would put it on top of the original um ATM machine keypad. And people don't even realize that there's something there even the banks don't realize that people some people you know do that and it records your information your bank number your your bank account number your bank card number your pin number your name everything and then after like one or two weeks when it's full of information like that stolen information the people who put it there drive by or like go into there, pretend to take money out, or deposit money, check their account, then quickly take the keypad, put it in their pocket or backpack, and out of there. This technology is so 2009, you know? And this fake color idea. They're like, oh, you know, that's why people, you shouldn't be talking about this because people will know about it and do it. And I'm like, you know what? Then we weed out, we weed out, we fuck, we figure out, like, you know, who to weed out. Because we need people who know how to govern themselves accordingly, with or without authorities. Because right now, it's like that. You know, the authorities need help too, the ones who really want to help us. They need our help too. Now, if you're going to act like, you know, a bunch of, like, insurgents, or fucking mice running around because the cat is asleep or gone, then we don't want you in the new world. You're just going to be a fucking problem. We, I'm not saying be, be like robots or anything, but for fuck's sakes, simple things as not hitting an innocent person or a disabled person, I think that should be fucking common human knowledge and sense. You know what I mean? And then there's this fake caller app ID. Now, I know that, you know, wherever I go, people are mirroring my phone. They mirror my phone. I don't know how they do it. I've seen that option in my phone, and I'm like, that must be that thing, but what can I do? Should I have to find a solution for that when all these certificates and licenses of all these like governance have all like uh, licensed shit and these trusted certificates on this phone and they're not protecting it. I walked into this place before, right? And there was this, uh, this guy, right? And he, and he's a friend of a, fr uh, a coworker or a friend. I never, I don't know this guy, but um, my, my uh, cell phone was, was like, I mean, it's not off, but it's locked, right? This, this screen is off and you have to put the code in or fingerprint in to get in it. And it's in my purse. Then he comes up to me, he goes, shows me his phone. And he didn't even come near me or take my phone or anything, shows me his phone. And he's like, look, are these your pictures? They're really nice pictures. And he's going through my Facebook and he's going through my text messages and he's going through my call box. And I'm like, who are you? What? Are you, what? How did you do that? And he's like, something. This was a long time ago, so he's not even around anymore. He goes, I work for the police. He goes, or something. Some go. The, I'm a good guy. Whatever. Not so many words. And I just wanted to let you know that this is being done to you and to a lot of people. And I didn't even touch your phone or know what kind of phone you have. You just walked in the room and I was able to do this with a press of a button on my phone. At least now you know.
But he says, I'm not going to steal any of your information or anything. You know that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you that I am able to do this. And I go, holy shit. You know? Anyway, another thing, too, is this. I know people everywhere I go, people mirror my phone. People clone my phone. That's why I make my phone rings or I know somebody's trying to call me and I hear ringing somewhere else. That is the exact same ringtone as me, always around me. And I'm not hearing people, you know what, don't even say that I'm schizophrenic because I'm so sick of it, you know. Unless you want to deal with that six foot six, like, guy, nurse, doctor there at the psych ward who yelled at those people who tried to take me to the psych ward the last time and said, stop bringing her here, she's not sick, deal with your problems. <laughs> anyway, you know, um, and that's probably why I'm not getting my phone calls, you know, and people are always doubting if it's really me when I call them because I, I guess they make other victims, like, use my phone because now they figured out that, you know, tablets, phones, laptops, computers can see. I mean, come on, this is like, so 2010, you know? And um, I go, why did, and then there's that um, free, the fake color app, fake color ID app. Um, a friend of mine showed this to me before, right? We were roommates and uh, just real friends, platonic friends, and we were watching TV and my phone's on the coffee table, and uh, he's on his phone, sitting beside me, we're watching TV, right? And then his phone starts ringing, and he goes, what the fuck, right? And I'm like, what? He goes, why did you text this to me? It was saying something like, you're an asshole, you know that, you smell, can you, like, please, like, move away, blah, 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 or something offensive. And I go, what the fuck are you talking about? I go, my phone's right there in front of us. And I didn't touch it at all. How would you say that I texted you? But it said right there, Candy, Candy slash Julia, and my phone number. And then all those text messages, even phone calls from supposedly, like, you know, my number, which is, of course, is recorded on his phone as Candy. But he goes, it's, he goes, he goes, it's not you. And I look at my phone. There's nothing there. I didn't send him anything. And he goes, it's this app called Free Caller ID app, Fake Caller ID app. Like you can, you can like even make people think you're calling from somewhere else around the world because you can choose any number to show up as your caller ID. And, and yeah. He goes, yeah, I'm just letting you know that, that that happens. And, you know, actually, I tried this once, right? Just see. Um, not to fool or make a fool of someone, but to help them. Um, when I talked to this uh, this one guy, he's a, he's a cop, right? And he always used to help me out before in Vauxhall. And um, I, uh, he's, I said to him, like, I started fake texting from someone's number and I showed it to him I said you know well actually, I actually did this twice once when I was in Lethbridge back in 2013 or tw something 2014 and I said look look this guy I, I, I just faked the numbers again this guy just admitted to me that they killed like a bunch of people on my text look read it I said to the cop right he goes oh my god that is like you can use that as evidence in court I'm like actually you know what it's not even real. I just, I wanted to, to let you know that there's technology like this on the streets. And it's, a, it's called a fake caller ID app. And it's free on every phone. It's free. People think, oh, it's just a joke. It's just pranks, whatever. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, why, it, why else was there, like, an immediate meeting in the United States, like, a government, whatever, like, I saw it, I watched it, about TikTok right away, when TikTok first came out, they were really, like, 
you know, if you even read the fine print before you cl click on that box and agree and say continue or like open an account, create an account on TikTok, maybe read the fine print. You know what I mean? Because that's what the American government did. And they said, no, no U.S. government official and their families are allowed to have TikTok. Because it says right there in fine print, it has, it, it like you're giving them every right to use your images any way they want. So this, like, I mean, to use your data, image data, and like written data and information any way they want, and they can alter it too. Like, these are like things that are put in on, on copyright, um, like laws, but it's the opposite. You know what I mean? So if 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 I go in there. And they start stealing all like the sides of my face and my expressions and my mouth movement when I'm saying certain words and then, you know, change it to like really bad things coming out of my mouth instead, because it says right there, they have a right to, you know, to, to use my, my digital information, my image information and alter it to their use. That's why the United States did that. And I don't know why Canada did it. As soon as that, I, 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 uh, I watched that, I was telling everybody on Facebook, don't use TikTok. It's dangerous. Everybody thinks it's just like, oh, yeah, it's so cool. Like, let's do all these dance moves. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice, or not at the Hall of Justice, the Hall of fucking Terrorists, they're fucking like, you know, okay, so this is how she looks like when she swings her hip to the right. This is how she looks like when she's walking, like, deep fake app. They made a whole fucking, like, movie using a real Hollywood star and his digital information. Because when you've been on, on TV or, like, internet and so many different angles and everything, and your voice, it's always there. You know, I mean, you Google like my my name that my Julia Martinez model name on Google and it's my, still my picture, my picture that first shows up or second. And I haven't modeled in fucking 18, 19 years. I don't even look like that anymore. I'm old now. But if they wanted to. You know, like, I mean, do you really think these terrorists, like, will respect copyright? Like, you know, and they, like, I mean, like that, like that N9, that N9 that, I, that um, it was, it's like a, it's like a black plastic thing, like this big, right? Like, kind of like a lighter size, but it's rectangular. So this thick and this wide, right? And there's no screen. It's only one button, and it's the same color as the plastic. It's like, I go, well, what the fuck, right? And I got it in my mail, because I always like would order like cheap clothes or whatever from the internet, right? So I thought that it was, you know, just, well, what is this? I can't remember ordering this thing, because I found it in my mailbox, right? And it's from, like, a country that has a different um, alphabet. I think it's not Japanese. I think maybe... And, well, it's just, I can try to remember, but I mean, you know, and then, um, so, uh, it says there, and I read the little kind of manual thing, that it was an MP3 player or something, MP3 player slash phone. I'm like, phone? Oh, what the fuck? There's no screen. There's only one button. And I opened the, the back of it, and there's a slot inside and it says insert SIM card, SIM card or SD card or whatever inside that thing. And I go, well, I guess it's a free MP3 player, but I don't remember ordering this from from any website. So I said, well, I'll try to figure out how it works. So I don't see any speakers on it or any other like holes to plug earphones in or nothing. So I charge it. Just charging it, right? Suddenly I get this painful 
fucking headache. Like, I was, like, by myself, and I was like, fuck, like, what the fuck is going on? And I was all alone in the house, right? And all of a sudden, you know, like, I guess, all of a sudden, I just got, I didn't, wasn't even thinking about that little thing. I didn't think it was that at all. I got down there, unplugged it from the charger, and it was still going, and I, go, and, and I opened up the bag. I didn't have any SIM card to put in it. And, but he was saying that you can make phone calls with that. I'm like, I don't get it. And and on the sides of it, there's little openings on, like beside the plastic that was inside. And I just got like a knife and started cutting all the wires that were in it as much as I could. And the pain stopped. Okay. I, I posted the picture on Facebook. Asked my friends, like, what is this thing? Does anybody know what this thing is? And um, a lot of my, a, a few of my friends said, I think it's an MP3 player because um, I seen that around on like you know pictures on the internet for sale for cheap. I go, is it really? But how do I put music in it? And and um, like, how do I? I don't I don't get it. There's no screen. There's no buttons to press. Just one button. And they're like, well, I don't know, right? So what I did was I, I uh, reverse image searched it, bam, right there. The manufacturer, I can't remember the manufacturer, um, but it was Asian, um, definitely. The name, I can't, but yeah, and um, I don't know because I, it's, it's the different symbols. And like, I mean, I don't know how to to read other alphabets, right? And, um, no, actually, like, yeah, I remember, like, I just don't want to say anything in case these people are being framed too, because nowadays it's like that, right? I mean, these, this company that was the manufacturer of these things, it's called an, it's called an N9, an N9. And it says right there when you Google it, weapon technological weapon and um i go what the fuck right you know and in like this manufacturer's history was there the name the um, address everything how they seem to be beaming with pride to you know like be selling this for well just i got it for free because it just ended up in my mailbox. And um, and I'm like thinking, either they're really, really very confident that they won't get bombed for the pain that that weapon is causing, or they think that, you know, people like me wouldn't be able to, like, you know, end up in, like, certain parts of the www that you know are less than humane to me right or less than right so i mean wrong things um or they're being framed too you know right unless they're so confident of their weaponry that they will announce it like that and make sure that nobody will be able to do anything about it when all I had to do was cut the wires that are inside and it stopped or they're being framed and um, yeah you know what I mean yeah so I don't really know but that's then I realized holy shit what if they're just randomly like you know, um, like mailing this, these things that it to like they to like everybody. You know, like and and people would open it. Oh, whoa! Um, somebody delivered this by mistake, but it's in my name. Oh, free MP3 player, right? And I don't, and you can't understand like you know what it says to return it. So you'll just take it. Oh, it's a little thing, right? I mean, it looks like a cheap like plastic thing harmless looking thing and 
then people plug it in their homes and it's there and they don't even know and that people are always going insane with pain because now I realize that it was fucking with my chip that's why it was so painful now like this thing here and then I realized too that I bought these um GPS um, tags for my cats before and they never really worked right for some reason I would charge them everything put them around the collar and I would see them to a certain extent from my phone but that it would stop working and my cats were always unhappy when it was around their neck so I would take it off right and they're different shapes there's pink white black different funny cute cute keychain looking things and then I realized now, like, holy shit, what if those were all um, N9s that they made to look like keychains or, you know, like GPS, like trackers or whatever. And it's not even working. It's just causing pain. It's just really just hacking into our chips and hurting us. Now, this thing here, you see, I, I even like this thing a lot, right? It's a mini air conditioner that I got from Walmart. And I don't think Walmart would have any responsibility because I don't think Walmart would be selling N9s or things that they know had an N9. Or maybe that didn't even have an N9 when I bought it and somebody had put it in there. Because now every time that I turn it on, I feel like so much pain in my brain and I hear my son one of my sons that are always being tortured around me that they these motherfucking assholes who hurt them and tortured them never show me for 21 years. Scream as in, please stop it, stop. as in the same kind of screaming I did when that first N9 was landed in our home after my son was kidnapped. So now I just, and I used, I actually really like that because you just put water in it and then there's different colors, they, it lights up. And that was 60 bucks. And, I, and, you know, I don't have $60 to keep buying it. And they don't sell it anymore. That was, like, the last one or only one that was there. So now it's, I'm not I'm not using it anymore, you know. Because, yeah, somebody fucks with it, right? And I always, like, look now, which of these electronic devices have N9s in them that are connected to not just my microchip but other people that are around me because you know what I mean and before I used to tell like people in authority or whoever could hear turn the fucking power off the whole goddamn fucking world even for a few minutes and then you'll see and realize which is which and what is producing what kind of emission because this is what they're killing us and hurting us with Aside from the guns and, you know, the beatings and the tor the physical, the torture, the torture that the other people actually do see, I guess, but not a lot. Because, of course, like, why would, you know, like, I used to think before, I used to think, you know, why do I care so much about certain people um, that mean a lot in my life? That And I say I trust them, but I know that, that they're lying to me or pretending that they don't know about me hearing loud thumps and my son crying all the time right around me behind walls even in the hospital even in court even in jail even on an airplane even on the bus and they just would always think that I'm just like you know sick and no medications ever worked I said, okay, you know, at first I was relieved, you know, in a way I was relieved when they said, you just have schizophrenia, your son's okay, and I was like, oh my God, you know, in a way I was like, okay, well then, at least I just have to take my medication, get regular exercise, you know, like stick to a good routine, um, get a place, clean my place, make sure that, you know, I take care of my, you know, my, my health, my hygiene, my responsibilities, and I take my medication, and I take my counseling, and then I'll be okay, but the voices never went away. My son's screaming has 
just escalated to from ooh, whimpering from being hit when he was like eight years old the first time they took him and I hear them around me, him around me and them around me and till now like I actually really do feel it when somebody gets a cut here or a shot here with a gun and it and they're saying well if you really feel how we're feeling how come you're not squealing in pain like we are I go not because I'm not because I'm tougher than you or anything but I heard these motherfucking people whatever who are, whoever's hurting us saying their thoughts through their screens that okay let her feel five percent of you know this pain this 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 loved ones of hers pain that's right around her or make her feel 10% or that the most I've ever been able to take I think I heard was 80% and I died and that's scalar they're fucking like you know they've been doing this to us you know since I was conceived and people are like I don't know if they're fishing or they're trying to help or whatever trying to help me find myself because as I said I have to find my souls of the past me's because we're all the same soul and my explanation for it is like you know like when there's a prior you and then there's you and then there's a future you that you know is the same human DNA and blood and everything as you um, and soul as well um, it's not because they're different it's not because you know the, the it's not because you were just mass pr produced for this game it's not from where I look at it the, our soul our soul holds our pain our soul holds our truth our love our longing our like you know like are like longing for justice and for our loved ones and our soul is our energy and they hurt so much and what people what I see too I mean it's not being like oh my god like she thinks this is cool no it's not but why are we getting hurt not just because they're just hurting us directly but they're hurting our loved ones and the more that our pain grows, so does our love. Because if we didn't love our neighbors, our fellow men, then that's what they've been trying to tell us, to stop caring about each other. Then it wouldn't hurt so much. But it just, I mean, as a good person, do you really have a choice to care about people or not? We don't. We just do. And I think the soul, our energy, our soul gets too big, so big, because the soul is an energy. The soul is what makes us, our, our material, our body move. You know, it's not the food we put in our mouth or digestive thing. Well, that too, but who puts the food in the mouth? Who made the brain, right? Well, who, who, what is the energy that makes the brain alive and function? The mind. The mind is part of our soul. You know what I mean? The brain is matter and the mind is energy. Like, a lot of times, like, they hurt my brain, but they can't really, I, I don't think they hurt my mind. I don't make really bad decisions either when they're hurting my brain so much because I just, they want to bully my mind, my consciousness out of my brain by, like, a painful radio frequency that bullies my natural mind's energy out of my out of my brain. What do I do? I just sit around before and watch from an objective point of view, and I see what happens. And you know what? Somebody else, one of my other souls that are good souls, that are women that are actually ghosts, that you know. I've become friends with and they're not ghost slaves and or necromancy or anything they just I go I used to go through a state of being a state of mind where I consider it purgatory because 
you know, it's like a state of mind where you're just not really lost, but you're just there, right? And, and even though in those places, you make friends too, and they start following you. They go, why are you following me? And they're, they're all like, they're all like, I can feel their good souls, but they are in their own like sadness and misery. And they're like, well, something, something about like, you know, I don't know. I don't want to, I've even told them like, I don't know if what you're saying is true, but you want to come with me, then you can, of course. They're like, yeah, it's, it's you. Like your last name, it says, it means a place where you can pray. You know, and it does not have walls, it's not a prison, it's, it's a safe place to go to, to take shelter and then come and leave or something. Like, you say something about like, we see it, you know, that when you die, you're going to go to heaven. And I'm like, I don't know about that. I really don't know about that. But they're like, well, that's what we see, so, you know, follow, me, follow you, follow me and they're with me. And I, when they bully my own consciousness out of my brain, used to sit around and watch what's going on and you know because it's too painful for me to even occupy my own brain and brain space at that time and they couldn't even handle like you know yeah you know so a lot of times I go walking around. Sometimes, a lot of times, I'm right there, right beside my son, my consciousness, where they're torturing him and I can't do anything because he can't even see me or feel me. And sometimes I really actually do go inside his body so that I can take the blows that he's taking before he does. And he doesn't need to know this, but I love him. He's my son. They're my sons. You know, and... What I'm saying is that why there's so many now be, before they used to kill the prior us before they make another one of us. And then from our own human DNA and blood, 3D printing, and then they take the memory scan of the prior us and upload it into the chip of the next us, but deleting the parts where we got tortured and killed. So we wake up and we're like, it's me. You know, I mean, I've always been here. It's always been me. So, yeah. And then there's, and then they stopped killing the prior us. And they just kept them alive. Or maybe they've always just kept them alive. But they can't speak for themselves anymore. They've turned them to look like something else. And when I'm not around, people can't hear what they're actually thinking and saying. I'm like an amplifier for some goddamn reason. And people always like, say, oh, where's, 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 like, you know, I went to the Dutchman here before, and I know I was falling asleep. I was there for like two hours. I was like, they were helping me like print out like you know some my list of my list of traffic fines, and I know my things were just there, and I was nodding off. I was tired. I wake up, and then this one cop there that I've never seen before he goes fishing. Right, he throws a line. He goes, "I've never seen a bug like that ever before," and I was like, "Okay," I didn't even think about it. Right. And so I go home and I go, what the fuck? One of my like portable chargers are not here. You know, my portable cell phone chargers like this big, I got for like 20 bucks or something. And I go, I know, I swear it was in my bag. I swear to God. And then I go, where did I go today? Okay, so um, first I called the library and they said, yeah, you left it here. And I'm like, I swear to God, I didn't, but okay, it's there. So now I know what the guy was talking about. And I wanted to say to, you, to him, honestly, you think that my portable chargers are the bugs? Like, seriously, you've stripped me off all my clothes and everything, and people around the world could still hear my thoughts. You took everything from me, like, put me in a paper suit, and... You knew. They're like, oh, well, you can't be hurt anymore. Really? Do you think, <laughs> like, really? How do you think the rest of the world knew how I was wrangled up by three grown men 
because of a traffic ticket. And I was put in shackles and handcuffs. I didn't even fight back. And, you know, and, and then I started realizing that. They can't be... When it, they can't even kill the prior means anymore. They just keep them alive and torture them or whatever. Um, unless the ones that really just physically could not live anymore because of so much torment. And they do this not just to me. To our children too. To my son too, definitely. They've been doing it to, to him since he was eight years old. And I only found this out when COVID started after he got kidnapped. I was getting to it. I told him I would figure it out what's going on. Because... From eight years old, I've been hearing him crying all the time, everywhere I go, everywhere I live, always around me, loud thuds, you know, crying, saying, Mom, it's really me, it's really Carlo, this is what they're doing, and like, I go, fuck, right? I always used to call the police to say, you know, I hear my son, upstairs. I mean, as soon as I say that, I hear my son crying, they stamp me as crazy, because they're like, your son's okay. Your son's with your mom and dad, mom and stepdad. That's not your son you're here, and you need to take your medication. That's it. Go see your psychiatrist. And I know that, like, not 100% of the people, authorities who said that to me, actually just wanted me to be, to be labeled crazy, but they actually couldn't hear the things that I hear. Because as soon as they come, all of a sudden, quickly, upstairs, I hear, doo -doo -doo, like, running, TV turns on. Children start laughing, other children. Then they drag my son out to the balcony where he's like duct taped his mouth. And then the cop comes in and comes downstairs. He goes, it's nothing, Jared. Just a couple of six-year-old six girl watching cartoons. I go, that wasn't what was going on there earlier. They really don't see it and hear it. And I actually believe that now. You know why? Because... If you see, like, you know, for a whole, like, very rare would you actually find a really, really bad cop. Very rare. I'd say maybe, used to be maybe 10%, you know, at the most of, all, of like, like, law enforcement in the world would be bad cops. But the rest, that's a labor of love. Like, I mean... You put yourself in between two people that are trying to kill each other and use yourself as a body armor to stop it. That's a labor of love. You don't do that job for money or anything because you're not going to get 